Hi, this is Lori from lauriescott.closetomyheart.com. Today, I'm going to be making this beautiful layout that you see here in the March-April Close to My Heart catalog. This layout uses the new Daisy Meadow Paper Collection. It comes with six sheets of double-sided paper and this adorable sticker sheet. This collection also comes with coordinating cardstock, picture my life cards, and even a Cricut collection. We will also be using this cute stamp set here from the Daisy Meadow card making stamp and thin cut set. We will be using this flower here. We will be using this dotted border here and I will teach you how to make a border around the page with these dots. That's going to be very easy for you to do. We're also going to be uh, making this little scallop border and I'll teach you how to stamp and cut that out. We're also going to use the Daisy Meadows scrapbooking stamp and thick cut set too. This beautiful set, we're going to be using uh, this saying spring is in the air. We're going to use this little uh, floral sprig, this uh, flower here, this leaf sprig, and this leaf here. I'm going to be showing you how to stamp and cut this out. Let's get started. This is the finished layout, and here's the dotted border that I told you about. This layout also has splatters that I made using a water brush and peacock ink. For the basic layout, I used a 12 by 12 piece of floral cards, oh, excuse me, floral pattern paper, like this, and 11 and a half by 11 and a half piece of peacock cardstock and an 11 fourth by 11 fourth piece of white daisy cardstock. I didn't want to waste this beautiful flower paper. So as you can see, I got it out the center. To make this border, I took a ruler and pencil and lightly drew an eighth of an inch border around the page. I then inked up my stamp in mint ink and stamped over the pencil border. The nice thing about our clear blocks is you can see where you're stamping. When I was done, I erased the pencil lines. I created three separate areas for the splatters. I put one over here, one here, and one here. And to do this, what I did is I took my peacock ink and I put it down on my craft mat here, got it on there, and then I took a water brush and squeezed a little bit of water into that, like that, and then and just tapped it, like that. And see how the blotches get on there like that? It's very simple. When the splatters were dry, I laid out my pieces to determine where to stamp my title. I used a four and a fourth by six and a fourth piece of cinnamon cardstock and I cut three strips of paper to dovetail. The plaid I cut at three and a half by ten and a half, the bunny paper at three by nine and a half, and the yellow checked at two and a half by nine. Then I took the stamp and laid that down just to determine where I was going to stamp. I used peacock ink to stamp my title. But before I did that, I wanted to season my stamp by rubbing it on my skin to take off a film that would prevent me from having a nice stamped image. So now that looks good. So now I inked it up really well. I even turned it over the other way just to make sure it was covered. Yeah, it looks very good. Now to get even coverage when you are stamping, you're going to lay your, 
your stamp down right where you want it, like that. And then you're going to press in the middle firmly, but not too hard. Most of um, the stamp, you notice, is in the center of the block, and people try, tend to use the outsides of the block, and that doesn't give you um, what you want in the middle. And you let it sit there while you're pushing to let it soak in, and see, you get a perfect stamped image every time when you do that. Next, I die cut my images using peach, mint, and cinnamon cardstock. I would use two pieces of paper so that I could get double the images. I could normally fold this in half and put it down and it would go through just fine, but I wanted to be able to use the light side, so that's why I'm cutting it in half here and putting the two light sides together. I like to use washi tape to hold my die in place. That way I don't have to worry about it moving when it's going through the machine. Once my images were all die cut, I took cinnamon and peacock ink, put my stamps on the block, and normally at this point I would season it, uh, but I didn't at this time. Um, it's usually a good idea to season it before you use it. And here I am rotating my stamp to get the position right on it. And I think I finally found the right position. Our ink pads are so nice because the tops are so easy to get off of them. A lot of ink pads you kind of have to twist and pry it off. But these are magnetic and they come off so easily. And when you put it down, give it a nice push in the middle. Firm but not too hard. Don't wiggle it. Just hold it there, let it soak in, and then you should have a good image, just like that. So I went ahead and did that to all of my um, die cuts. This is that border that I was telling you about. What I did is I cut a strip of paper that was one quarter inch and it was just the right size for this. And then, as you can see here, when I'm cutting, I don't turn my scissors, I turn the paper. Just to get into those little grooves. As you can see, they're coming right off. Yeah, just turn your paper. Then you get that nice little scallop. Next, I laid out all my pieces, my die cuts and my mats. So for the mats, I have, for the cinnamon cardstock, I have four and a fourth by six and a fourth, and then I have two three and one fourths by three and one fourths, and then I have mint cardstock on top. Mint is four and one eighth by six and one eighth, and two three and one eighths by three and one eighths. And then I went ahead and laid down my die cut pieces. Some of them I attached with 3D foam tape, like this one right here, because I'm going to put a picture under it, and I didn't want to put any adhesive down. And then I tucked the leaf right underneath it here, and just kind of have to play with it to position it, it um, just to get it to the way it fits for you. 
I'm not always great at copying exactly from the catalog, but I get it down and it gives it the look that looks good to me. And besides, nobody's going to see the original. It's, it's difficult to copy a total original. And make it your own. Enjoy it and make it beautiful. The layout also uses stickers from the sticker sheet. And here I am comparing it to what's in the catalog to see what I need to do and kind of rearranging the pieces to make them fit. Then I'm going through the sticker sheet and finding all the pieces that go on my layout. So now I'm finishing it up here. Um, that little heart's on 3D foam tape. And up at the top, the peach colored flower, that's also foam tape. It always just looks so good when you add dimension to it. And then I compare it to what's in the catalog. And then lastly, we're going to add some little embellishments to it, these pretty colored little dots here. I love embellishments. That's one of my favorite parts of scrapbooking. It just really adds something nice to the page. And look at, they're all in these cute little pastel colors, almost like Easter eggs. And so then I take my little piercing tool. Some of these little ones are kind of hard to pick up but I just kind of slide the um, piercing tool right underneath it and then lay it down right where I want it to go. And lastly, I'm putting down my photo place card holders. You don't have to do this if you already have your pictures, but mine, my layout is all ready for my pictures. I will have a four by six and two three by threes. And here we have the finished layout. Here's some of the detail. The little dotted border, the stamped die cuts, our title, the splatters, some stickers, I've enjoyed putting this layout together for you. I hope you will join me in creating your own. Have a nice day.